Hi, Brad Wilson with King Manufacturing. We're here today at somebody's home that is complaining that they've got a problem with the floor heat that they've installed. And we're here to diagnose it and find out what happened on that. So let's go inside and check it out. So this is a King floor heat installation. The customer had complained that, uh, that it wasn't working and it had been working. And so we came in and checked and it's on a double pole breaker. So we know it's a 240 volt uh, power is feeding to it. So they claimed it worked for a while and then it stopped. So we're gonna go into it and investigate and find out what happened to this. We'll take the thermostat off and set it aside. And as we see, the rating label says 120 volt. Well, we know it's a 240 volt power feeding this unit and it's a 120 volt cable. So there was obviously a, a mistake here. So if this was a 500 watt uh, heating cable run at 240 volts, it'd now be 2000 watts. And that's way too high a wattage for this unit. So we know that the, the cable itself has separated inside there. So, but to verify that, we're gonna check it with an ohmmeter. Okay, so on the cable, it shows, it, it's written here what the wattage is and the voltage, and it says 77.9 ohms for this cable. So we're gonna check that to see what it is. And I have it set, set on uh, continuity and 200 ohms. And if I go to check it, it's showing nine ohms. And if I do it on continuity, it says it's got continuity, but the ohms are way off. So something's wrong. 3 ohms to ground, 7 ohms to ground there. There's something very wrong with this uh, cable. So we're going to try and find the spot that it broke. And I'll show you that in this uh, next here. So now I've applied a high pot tester to the two leads. So the two leads have the wires connected to them. This will go up to 2,500 volts. We have it set at about 1250 and typically when it shorts out, it'll trip the button. Uh, what we'll do is keep it on and try and find uh, where it's arcing in the floor. So as I flip it on, if I hold the button in, it'll continue to run the high voltage through the floor. And then we will take the um, infrared gun and look across the floor for arcing and high temperature. So the infrared tester shows my foot being warm and we're going across the tile trying to find a high temperature arc. Seeing where and if there's any high temperature and as you can see my my feet are red hot. And as we come across here, it shows that there's a um, red mark. That is where the break is. So we're going to have to chip that tile out to be able to get to that point.